some of the things you'll get in this course is um, how to work with conflict, how to work with uh, opponent's energy. And in that regard, we're looking at nature for an inspiration. Even the way that we hold our stance, um, the movements that we're doing, we're using spirals and natural movements, straight lines, even have circles, um, and all of these things, it's, it's utilizing nature to inform the technique to give our, us a higher response. In Sabaki, we wanna be more responsive and less reactive. Being reactive is human nature. Um, we have stress, we go into fight or flight. We want to in, be in stress and then actually up level. We want to be able to have a greater response, utilize nature to select what is our responses and which one is more effective. For a lot of people that take the Sabaki method, this is one of the most profound things that they take away. I hear this from doctors, lawyers, uh, any profession. Uh, school teachers, people that stay at home and take, take care of their kids, all of these people have one thing in common. We all have one thing in common, is we are in a state of change. Everything is change, and we either fight change, resist it, or we can work with change. So kind of the paradox with martial arts, well, why would I get into martial arts or why would I want to learn sabaki is because yeah martial arts is about putting you into stress and putting you into these certain positions to fight so why would I want to learn um, sabaki method as a principle of martial arts is because um, yeah fight or flight is embedded into the human experience no one comes to martial arts to become worse, to put themselves in a bad position, to disempower themselves, to make poor choices. I'm gonna make the worst choice or I'm gonna be the weakest person ever. You won't find a martial arts system out there that does that. However, I don't know what other systems do. Um, I, I respect other people's decisions, but I have confidence in the Sabaki method because it does reflect nature. You'll know when you're not doing a technique right because it just won't feel right in your body. It just doesn't look right. And when you do the movement, it may feel forced. When you do it with sabaki, it just, it's like you're walking into, uh, into a museum and it's brilliant paintings. You can't find uh, the, the error in it. And so that's really the beauty of the, of the system of the sabaki method and also the beauty of um, yeah just being part of something and a curriculum that reflects nature and brings other like-minded people together so these are some of the benefits is just yeah meeting people from around the world that have a similar mindset that are asking questions like you and we all are on this process of uh, learning integrating and then up-leveling the way that we operate. Um, regardless of your martial arts, you can utilize these principles, um, the framework in your rule set, because what we're teaching is principles, not techniques. The techniques are just the appearance of, of it all. So this is the framework of what you'll get.